I am in Mungo National Park. It's been a few years that I wanted to come here, but actually, that's what I said last time. Woohoo! I am in Mungo National Park. It's been a few years since I wanted to come here. I finally made it. Now it's been a few years that I want to come back here and now I made it. So we just got into the Mungo National Park. That's our car parking, that's the information board. Amazing place, man. I love it. We've driven about 100 kilometer-ish. We did not see one single soul. How good is that? You can hear my engines running here, but without a car engine, it's just gonna be like dead quiet, man. Definitely the sound of nature at its best. When we left Sydney, we didn't book anything because initially we were contemplating whether we should go to Hay. So we decided to not to book anything because then it gives us flexibility when we feel like, okay, we're gonna just like dock in here wherever we wanna go. That makes it easier for us because availability will be plenty at this time anyway. So um, we end up in Griffith. Um, so we booked in in this motel. 41 degree at the moment, man, it's so hot. So we just chill in the um, Acorn room, just getting ready for lunch, the late lunch, by the way, it's uh, 4 p.m. now and heading up to Mungo National Park tomorrow. In Mungo National Park tomorrow, it's gonna to be even worse. It's gonna be like 41 degrees, man. We're going camping, so it's gonna be fun. But all in all, uh, we're gonna enjoy the night today and uh, we're gonna have a nice uh, lunch for now. What is that, darling? Rundang. It's beef rundang. And, you know, we brought rice cooker as well. Oh, it's freshly cooked rice. Okay, let's close the door now. It's too hot. in the Kermit Cave Lookout. So this is up on a hill. It's a very rocky path to get to the lookout. So let me show you the view. That's the view. Like a new housing estate down there. At the moment it is 38 degrees or probably 37 but there's some nice breeze happening so I wouldn't mind. You know, if it's like stinky hot without any breeze, then that's that's what's gonna be like pretty bad. But I reckon that's what's gonna happen when we get to Mungo today. Uh, the Hermit's Cave Heritage Hiking Trail. Okay, so let's go down the path. The chapel to the right hand side. Just that. And what else? The loop track and the main cave. Let's try to get into the chapel, see what's in there. Uh, just go down, just wedge between the two rocks there, and this is actually not bad of the view. Okay, so let's check out the main cave. Mm, this smell, man, this reminds me of uh, the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, man, I can't remember. This reminds me of another areas in the outback that I've been. It must have been from the gum trees. In the places like, oops, I almost sleep, man. In places like this, you have to proceed with caution, you know? Keep an eye out for white lives, do not disturb the white lives, you might come across snakes. And if you do, then leave the snake alone, back off slowly, do not engage. What the heck is this? 
might. There's a there's a cave here behind me. I don't know what it is next to the main cave. Let's check it out. Hey. Man, these caves look dirty. I reckon it's meant to be an awesome place, but there's rubbish everywhere, man. Alright, I don't know whether this is a main cave. This might be it though, because it says 20 meters. There was about 20 meters from when I walk. Oh. Hold on. There's this little structure behind me. I'm not sure what it is. There's some Aboriginal artworks here inside the cave. So I guess let's check that out, hey. Alrighty. This is it. I reckon this is the main cave. Oh, that's it fellas, that's main cave. There's still a walking trail there that's looping for another another kilometer I think. But I'm just gonna cut it up here. We're gonna have lunch. Get a little view behind me man. I love places like this. So serene. So we're heading go back up that way. Through these little stairs. So at the moment I'm only doing speed between 40 to 80 k's an hour, especially when it's a daytime. There's no side shadows or the lights not angled from the sun, so you can hardly see potholes sometimes. And also sandbank, sometimes you just go through um, a section where it's just like all sandy. It's gonna slow down your vehicle to the point that you might not be able to control that. Plus, you know, because it's corrugated, just like, let's see, just like right now, right? We essentially just skipping through all those bumps, right? So you gotta go not too slow because you're gonna feel every single bump, but you don't wanna go too fast as well because your car's gonna be like hopping through those corrugated road and you're gonna lose control of your car, mate. As we're driving around, we came across this Beautiful silo just behind us. There's a dust storm happening just all around us. Woo! It's so windy, it's hot. So I'm just hoping that it's not going to be too bad in our campground, in our campsite because otherwise we're going to have to secure our belongings and food so they're not getting dusted, you know? Mungu National Park, there's no food, there's no restaurant, there's no fuel in Mungu National Park. So I thought I was just going to point that out for you. I think when you go to the outback like this, you know, the, the weather can be like going from one extreme to another extreme. So you just have to come well prepared for the situation. Okay, let's start driving again. National Park still on the way about 65 kilometers left apparently though apparently they paved the road on the way here already what I knew about 90 kilometers before the park it's supposed to be already like dirt road but it looks like they paved that um, little section there at the front and now about 65 kilometers to go I reckon it's gonna be like dirt road all the way
We got into Mungo National Park in a campsite. I just parked there. It's nice and quiet. There's another two people camping in this area. So it's not packed. And the afternoon light's just beautiful, just right behind me. It's gonna be fun, man. I love this place. Thank you.